Hi, my name is Matt Alsip. I'm the technical marketing manager here at Dotto Systems, and I'd like to talk about storage virtualization. So what does it mean to virtualize your storage? This is what we want to talk about. People think of virtualization in the uh, server and in the desktop space in a simple fashion of putting more and more desktops or more and more servers onto a physical host. But when you start talking about virtualization of storage, it's like, well, what does that really mean? It's kind of fuzzy, it's hard to understand. Well, if you think about traditional systems, like with a, a RAID group, a RAID group is nothing more than a bunch of disks all put together. And you stripe across the, the disks, and you'll have blocks of storage that will physically be located somewhere on one of these disks. And it will always be there. It's never going to move. So in that way, we think of it as, as being kind of uh, in a fixed space, in a fixed address space. Well, what we want to do, though, is we want to do something where we can maybe be a little more fluid with things. We want to be able to move that storage around for certain reasons, like maybe, for example, you want to put it onto a different type of disk that will give you better performance or maybe more capacity, depending on the needs. So the concept is to take all of these RAID groups and to pool them all together. And so what you're creating is a, is a new address space. There's a new address space that sits on top of these things that will give more different addresses to these storage blocks. And so these new storage blocks that have these new address, this new address space, this virtualized address space, can now be moved around if need be. It doesn't need to just sit right here anymore. It could be moved over here, over here, over here. It can be very fluid, depending on the needs of the system. <clears throat> the other advantage of having this address space is that it's virtual. It doesn't actually necessarily point to any storage at all. It's just an address space. So that opens up the opportunity to have what's called thin provisioning. So if you have, I've got a, an address space that maybe it points to storage, maybe it doesn't, well, then you've got that opportunity to over-provision. I can say, I want 20 terabytes of storage. OK, you've got 20 terabytes of storage. Here it is. But I haven't actually given you anything yet. Until you actually start writing to the disk and starting saying, I want to store something here, I don't have to give you anything. I can have it all virtual and thus have it thinly provisioned. So once I start writing to disk, then I have to actually commit some storage. So I have to actually have some storage to give to that person that wants that storage on their disk. <clears throat> so that's, that's one of the benefits of having virtualized storage and having that address space that is abstract and doesn't actually point to any storage necessarily. The other advantage is that since I've got this address space that points to um, storage in an abstract fashion, that storage can live almost anywhere. So I, I can address it and either put it here, or I can say, no, I'm going to take it and I'm going to wipe this out and I'm going to copy it over here and I'm going to have it live over here now. Or I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to live somewhere else. The idea behind that is that I can now move it to where it's needed for whatever purpose it needs to serve. So if I have this little block of storage sitting up here, he is going to be able to serve to the hosts in very high IOPS fashion because this, this tier here I'm, I'm referring to as, as the SSD tier. <clears throat> this is something we would put onto this tier if the data is what we refer to as hot data. It's being accessed very frequently by the system. If the system isn't accessing that data very frequently, or if it's not dating, accessing it at all, it's, it's gone cold, it's, it's stale, uh, it's, it's, um, it's a spreadsheet or it's a document that nobody's looking at, nobody's using, it's what we refer to as cold data. So this data is not being accessed. And this is where you would see that happening in a system that's virtualized, and you'd move that down into this high capacity tier where it just stores in, a, um, in an archival fashion. It doesn't need to be very fast, but it's still there. If you ever want to get it, it's going to be there and available to you. So that's what it means to have a virtualized storage system that's different from a virtualized server system. <clears throat> One of the advantages of having this virtualization is that if I have multiple RAID groups in a pool and I'm filling it up with my 
uh, storage from uh, one volume or a second volume or a third volume, lots and lots of volumes that can be created from this and they can all be over provisioned, they can all take up to 20 terabytes and after time you know each one of them is taking up storage and they start to fill up this pool so it's, you start to provision and you could get to the point where you'll have absolutely no space left because since you've over provisioned there's not enough space for all these volumes so the, when you see that happening when you see okay I'm starting to get up to like about 70 percent 80 percent utilization of my actual storage you can come down here and you can say okay I want to order a new JBOD to add on to my storage system you can scale up this way you add another JBOD and you plug it into the system and I'm talking about while it's still alive so you add the shelf you plug it in and automatically it sees this new storage and it will provision a new RAID group or new RAID groups and add them to the pool automatically when it's doing that then it just increases that address space of real physical storage it can address and be able to provide that storage to the volumes so where can you get your hands on this storage virtualization technology Dot Hill has introduced the patented real store technology and integrated it into every Assured SAN Pro 5000 system. For more information, visit www.dothill.com. And look under the Resources tab for more information. Thank you.